all the people is tell me to tell you where all the problems were with your establishment. That is the last thing that anybody could ever want to do. You can pick anybody else. Just don't pick me. Don't pick me. But she picked me. So I... Good morning, family. So, can't wait to get downstairs to get my lips lit. Um, but happy Monday, whatever that means to you. <laughs> Today is going to be a crazy day. One, because I am headed on my way to work, which actually... Come on, watch. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.43 a.m. Okay, I'm still making good time. Still making good time. All right. Cut the light off on y'all. Did anybody feed Mikey? I'll take that as a no. All right, so I just pulled an Uno reverse card on y'all right quick. <sighs> Was making my way downstairs, and then I realized I don't think anybody fed Mikey. <sighs> Which honestly, let's just keep it a stack. Mikey's my pet, okay? He is now officially my pet. I have adopted him because of neglect from his actual parent whose name we will not even mention because it's still too painful. Um, but yeah, he belongs to me now because I feed him. I'm the one who clean, cleans out his tank, who buys all the supplies that he needs, which I know, Mikey, I got to get you some more bugs, buddy. But we got a lot of these pellets left so we're gonna rock out with these until the bugs come in the mail <sighs> never thought I wanted a turtle until I had one. Oh, come on oh oh what I drop scrap here you go Mike all right So now I can head downstairs because my third child has been fed. <sighs> we go check on the other two to make sure they're doing what they need to do because they finally go back to school. <sighs> Alright, so I'm in the car now trying to wait for this baby to heat up because it is cold. 7.06. Very good time. Very good time. Um, But I have my... uh. So yeah, heading into work for my current job, which is at the school, um, and then I have to leave in, and I'm only going to be there for like two, three hours, and then I have to leave that job to come back home to hop on Zoom so that I can do my orientation for my new job. Craziness, right? So yeah, that is what my Monday is looking like. Um... Oh my gosh, it's really cold. And the heat, like, let me, that would help if I turned it up, I guess, right? But yeah, um, so technically, I do not know if today is going to be my last day at my current job or whether or not I'll be able to do like the rest of the week at my current job because I, I've tried to explain this. Like so many times, but like I don't know what the pay period situation is looking like at the new job, whether I'm coming in at the end of a pay period or the beginning of a pay period. So I don't know when I would get my first check. So I'm trying to like accumulate as many checks as possible from my old job before I leave. That way I can still make sure like all bills are covered and stuff. But yeah, so. I'm kind of sad because I wanted to get like my coworkers or at least like my teaching team that I'm with, like get them like parting gifts. But now I feel like I won't have time because I don't get paid till Friday. And you know, your girl zeroes out her budget. So I didn't set aside money for this situation. So I didn't have money to go buy gifts. And so I would have to wait till Friday until I got paid. But then I don't know if with this new job after the orientation, do I like go and start training for that immediately or 
do I still have time before that actual training session starts? <sighs> oh, Adelton, why do you have to be so complicated? All right, guys. So, left work. Um, there was like a new hire packet that I had to print out and like fill the paperwork out for because it was due today, but for some reason, you know how you can like fill things out in Adobe, like fill out the PDF and then send it back. Like, let me make sure I'm muted. <laughs> I am BT Dub, but for some reason. It wasn't working for me. They would only let me do certain sheets. I was like, whatever. I'll just wait till I got, get to work, print it out, fill it out, and then take pictures of it. And then thankfully, this phone has that feature where you can like take copies of text and it only does the page and not the background. So they can just print it out, no problem. So I took pictures of everything, emailed it back, and now it's supposed to start at 11. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of us in this call right now. When they have us on hold, you might as well say. And they chimed in and said we wouldn't be starting until like 11.05. So, went to the bathroom. Um, I don't want to get anything to drink. So I don't have to get up to go to the bathroom. Even though... We'll most likely keep our cameras off this whole time. <sighs> yeah. It's really happening, guys. It's really happening. <clears throat> like, not even to get all preachy, but like, I was doing my um 2023 vision board, and I was talking about like, how one of the quotes that I pinned was, I'll try to put it over here in the atmosphere so y'all can see it, but like the, the blessing was delayed, never denied, like that is such a true statement in this moment because like all the like little jobs that I've had like could never really stay long because if it wasn't my MS that made me have to give up the job then it was my good morning everyone thank you for joining please make sure everyone has access to the what okay <coughs> <coughs> so the new hire paper using today's day if you have not done so yet okay i already did that <coughs> but like, yeah so if it wasn't my sickness that made me have to give up the job or the fact that we were moving all the time like <coughs> it's happening But I said all that to say, like, this is always, like, the kind of job that I've wanted, but just never seemed to, like, happen. Like, I would get so close. So, so, so close. And then it would just end up falling apart for whatever reason. And then finally, like, God has aligned, allowed the stars to align. Like, it must really be according to his plan. Because every other time, it just never made it this far and yet this time like for me to even like apply for the job being like oh well you know what if this doesn't work out what if that doesn't work out what if they want this for me and I can't get it like oh but it's all happening and I'm eternally grateful <sighs> but yeah we have five minutes left I don't think I need anything else right now uh, tissue, because I don't know what's going on. If it's allergies or what's happening, but something is going on. Like, and I can time it. Like, I'll cough, 
three times and then right after I finish coughing I'll have to sneeze twice and I don't I don't get it okay let me go get some tissue what's up family so I quit my job today all right so I don't technically know if you can call it quitting like I put in my leather of resignation today um which I don't know I thought I would have more emotion towards the situation like the only real emotion that I have about leaving my current job was like leaving my class like my co-workers like the students in my class but like the institution in and of itself no mm -mm. not a single tear was shed at all <laughs> you know went into the office was like hey do you have a minute can we talk and handed her over the paper she read through it and then had a brief discussion did like an exit interview of sorts which is listen the last thing you wanted to do is tell me of all the people is tell me to tell you what all the problems were with your establishment that is the last thing that anybody could ever want to do you can pick anybody else just don't pick me don't pick me but she picked me so I let her know and her eyes were wide at the end and she was a little speechless but listen she asked so I told all the problems how they're not as strict as they need to be with the kids like let's be real about the situation a lot of the kids at that school aside from the developmentally disabled ones they are at that school because the judge said you're either going to do this or you're going to finish out your sentence in juvenile detention and they chose our program so like let's not be fooled act like we're dealing with angels because we not that's, that's just not what we got all right we, we don't got them <sighs> so yeah i'm done Oh my goodness, it's really over. But you know, on to new things. Bigger, brighter future. New opportunities. Um, Right now I'm sitting outside of the boys' school waiting for 5 o'clock because they have aftercare and they're dead serious about not wanting to get picked up early because they like the activities that they get to do in aftercare. And if I pick them up early, then they don't get to do said things. So... I have to wait until as late as possible before I go in there and pick them up. Whatever, at least I get my money's worth. Um, I actually need to call this one other company, which honestly I need to get off with you and call them because I've been working at this job at the school for a year and I have been paying into this thing called the flexible spending account, which is like every paycheck they would take money out and set it aside for where like if I at a doctor's appointment and there was a copay I could use that to pay for it I could use it to pay for medications and like a whole bunch of things I could have been using this money for and they were supposed to send me a card and they never sent me a card I actually never even got a health insurance card and I've been paying for it like a lot of money so many money dollars towards this health insurance and I never even got a health insurance card but yeah I finally was given the number to the place that I need to call so that I can get the card because even though I will no longer be employed with them, that's still my monies and I want it. So it's supposed to be like a debit card or something like that that has all of your money that you've been setting aside from your paychecks. So yeah, that still belongs to me and I'm gonna need that. Run me my money, okay? Yeah, I said it, run me my money. But yeah, let me call them before they mess around and be closed and then I have to wait until tomorrow which technically I really won't be able to do because it's my first day at the new job so yeah all right so we're home um <laughs> did all that waiting for the kids at their school and then just idea dawned on me like hey you know what call your mom maybe she picked up the kids I had a time and you don't need to go get them and look crazy to the people. So I called my mom. She doesn't answer. I was like, all right, let me shoot her a text before I get out of the car and go walk up there. She texts me back immediately. And it's like, oh, yeah, I got the boys. Cool, cool, cool. 
So, left there, I'm back home now, and I just finished eating something because I didn't really bring lunch today. I kind of forgot while I was at work. And now I need to figure something out. So, I start the new job tomorrow. Um, it's kind of, it's like jumping out of one thing and jumping straight into another. But I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. So... During the interview process, I had asked, like, you know, what the culture was of the job, like, the environment. And the lady I spoke to, she's not my supervisor. However, I believe she's my supervisor's supervisor. She's like, oh, you know, the atmosphere is pretty chill. Um, you don't have to get, like, dressed up to the nines. However, you know, look professional. All that jazz. So, before I get too tired, I'm going to try to put together a first day of work outfit. So come along for the ride. Alright, so these are like the little bit of clothes that I have left at this house. Um, I do have more things in the basement, like some shirts and stuff, so I'm not too bad off. Um... They did say that I have to be there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, so it's not like I have time to go run unless I get up super duper early to go run to the apartment to get different clothes. So I'm just going to make something with what's here. All right. So these are kind of too tropical. These are also too tropical. And they have like a huge slit in the leg on these ones. So that's not going to work. Um, I don't have a shirt that will match that this i do have a white shirt that'll match it but no shoes um what are you what are you all right there are these pants which honestly are these even mine yes these are mine um i have to find a shirt for that i don't want to wear jeans first day there yes theo Mommy. yes sweetie do we have any lemon more more lemons yeah one me yeah we have more lemons where are they they're in the drawer at the bottom of the refrigerator on oh, the look, yeah, I can't see them. on the right hand side they're in there i promise all right again no to jeans trying to be professional um i do have like these gray stretch pants like they're not really stretch pants like they're stretchy but okay that's a possibility but I just need to find what kind of shirt I would wear with that um and then I think these are all jeans so these are all out of the running yeah these are all jeans mm -hmm. yes Why did I have kids? All right, so I ran down in the basement and found that shirt. Theo, can you move, please? You hate me? What did I do to you? Okay, so I went down in the basement, um, found that shirt. So, I'm doing this gray and black shirt here with the gray. Um, they're not leggings, but like they're not. Jeans, I don't know how to describe the pants, and that's the deal. He just always has to be up front and center. Something up there. And then I'll just do my black um, knee-high Michael Kors boots with, I think I have like a black blazer here somewhere. Or my black leather jacket there. And that'll be my outfit for tomorrow. So I already got that laid out. Um, thankfully, I don't have to get up as early as I normally did. Um, well, actually, I, I can neither confirm nor deny that because I need to look up now to see exactly how far where she told me I have to meet them is from where I'm at. So then I'll know whether or not I have to get up earlier than I do or than I usually do or don't do. So we'll see. But yeah. <sighs> 
future is moving right along. But alright, I'm really tired. So I'm about to put on some pajamas. Lay it down in. I will see y'all. And I will see y'all in the morning. What's up, family? All right, so I am on my way to my second day of work. Um, had a come on, cars. Had a bit of a mix up because yesterday, when I was actually like in the office, I gave you guys a snippet of like me being in there. I didn't want to like record much. It was my first day and all. So, bam. Did Relias. I was doing Relias all day yesterday. Um, so as I was leaving, the girl who was training me was like, well, if you don't get an email or you don't hear from your supervisor, then my advice to you would be just, you know, stay home tomorrow. Oh, Lord, sugar. She was like, just stay home tomorrow and, you know, you can clock in on your phone and then just do your Elias from home on your computer. You're allowed to do that. All right, cool. Bam. Was doing that. And then at 9.30, I clocked in on my phone at 9 o'clock, turned Relias on, doing the presentation. Okay. So at 10.30, my supervisor calls me today, not 10.30, but 9.30. My supervisor calls me today and is like, hey, where are you? It's 9.30. Why aren't you here? And I'm like, well, you know, nobody told me that I was supposed to come in today. I didn't receive a phone call, email, nothing. So I just took the advice of, come on now, sir, you see me trying to get over. I just took the advice, the advice of the person that you left me with who said, you know, Stay home, turn on your Relias at 9, write it on the your uh, Google work calendar, what you're doing, and proceed that way. So she's like, oh, oh, okay, I'm so sorry about that, but yeah, you can come in now. So we're on our way to work at 9.30. Oh, boy. Good morning, family. All right, so we're back at the apartment. Um, happy MLK weekend. Um, but my dishes finally came. Yay, I'm so excited. Yo, my kids are jerks. So, dishes finally came. I'm going to unbox them so you guys can see. I'm just, screw it. Pushing you away while well, I want you to stay. Amazing gold is eyes, but my heart still beats. When I say no, it's yes. I'm putting you to the test. Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Sorry that I've been playing games. Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so. I guess so, I guess so. I am a queen, I need my king. Are you bad enough to sin? I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. Okay, let me just be honest with you. I want a jewel, want a jewel, want a jewel. And okay, I've been running circles all the time, but I want a jewel, want a jewel.
Okay, so dishes are put away. Um, honestly, the first cabinet, you can keep going, it's fun. Honestly, that first cabinet that I was gonna put them in, first cabinet, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it because it's at a weird angle, so I feel like if I, I can't really use anything but the first and the middle shelf because from this angle, like it's at the corner and then it kind of like goes over top of the countertop, so it doesn't give you, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to really reach the top shelf, so. I have like my mugs and my cups on the first section of it. I don't know what I'll put on the middle section. I don't know. But yeah, whatever, that's done. Um, so then I guess I'll move food stuff over here. There you go. And yes, grapeseed oil fit. So yeah. Food stuff will go over here. So grapeseed oil, this spray olive oil that I bought way back when will go there. Um, then honestly, this is what I also had in the cabinet, but this can go home with me because I'm actually out. So yeah, I didn't need to buy another. Well, yeah. Um. Then I have this really long cabinet, which I don't know what is expected to go in here. Again, spices are here. Um, I gotta clear those out too. Because kitchen drawers are not meant for like nails and such. So I guess silverware will go here. I don't know why there's a pencil in there. But I'll put silverware here. Oh, I need to clean this thing up. Whoever lives here before me, they did not clean up. I guess it's not a requirement when you leave. And then these are the only ones that don't work. <sighs> but yeah, I'm so proud of the one curtain that's up in the whole house. I'm just so proud. Even though that bottom one, we can't really touch it because it's like rigged. But still, so proud. All right, now 